Welcome back to the Monster Energy DreamHack Studio, live with the Aces RG Dream League. And of course, we just witnessed our first game and our first series of the third main qualifier of the four total available. Hold on. Didn't you say Scary Faces have the longest game time? <laughs> solved. Solved. Longest average game time record is Scary Faces with 52 minutes. Probably like 20 minutes now. Yeah, they don't have a really high uh, game like pool amount, yeah. amount to choose from and or to get an average from. So this kind of brings the average slightly down because we had like a 13 and a half minute game. One three three seven. I I just I, I what what was Scary Faces thinking? What were was was their plan? What were they going for? Drage? What do you think like they were trying to do? Well, actually, I am a little bit impressed because it was a game less than 15 minutes that bored me which normally doesn't happen. I mean, <laughs> usually you're like fine for the yeah. first 15 and then you get bored. No, but they had uh, awful lanes. I mean, their most winnable lane were Wind Ranger versus Shadowfiend and you put them versus Black's Shadowfiend in the middle and then he lost his bottle, I think, or the chicken died in some way there. Anyway, it's like they had three lanes which they wouldn't win and they are probably a little bit worse players. So what they did was, yeah, that was stupid. <laughs> fair enough, fair yeah. enough. Uh, you can see what they were going for with their draft though. Like they had Slark and they had the the, zoo, the, the Beastmaster for mm -hmm. the late game vision. So they were going for like, they just needed 20 minutes just to kind of farm a little bit. And they just didn't get any space at all. Like I, in the draft as well, um, Team Tinker drafted Quop second. Mm -hmm. So yeah. um, Scary Faces obviously drafted around that going middle and they were like, okay, Quop's probably going to be going mid because it's one of Quagfa's favorite heroes. But um, then the Team Tinker just sent Black mid instead. And, Oh, it was. It wasn't a pretty game. Oh, yeah. No, it wasn't pretty at all. No, but they couldn't win any lanes, and that is that's a really big problem. Yeah. And, and having Zeus as a support could be nice, but if you go three versus three lane, Zeus is not really the guy that you like. Please help me out here. And even mi missed the first initial gank with um with, with the Night Stalker and Lena. Yeah, yeah. Like, and, and, and the lane still went really, really well. It was it was unwinnable, like, I think. After 12 minutes, they had a lead with 12, uh, 1,000 GPM per minute as a team, which is. Pretty then good. you're fine. Pretty good. <laughs> you're pretty fine then. <laughs> Despite the game being really short, I believe there is also something prepared for the drawing board. Uh. Just looking at the side, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to assume there is going to be a drawing board with Shanealytics. Welcome at this game now. I'm not really sure what we're going to look at, but it's probably going to be quite quick. So let's have a look at this. Uh, we're about 13 minutes into the game. Remove that picture from the thing. No, that's, that's, this is scary faces. This is what they look like now. Oh, really? Oh, I actually <laughs> thought it was something Dude, entirely. it's obvious with two eyes. Yeah, Shiva, yeah. you're dirty, dirty mind. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, let, let's just play this at, at full speed and just see, like, all right. I don't even know what to say here. This is like one team just getting destroyed by another. Like no, but there was a, this is a really nice uh, shackle shot, actually. Yeah, it, I, I don't even see the angle. Yeah, there's a little tree. That's actually really impressive. Yeah. That was a nice one. Okay, let's, let's focus on this. This is a nice little piece. This is when Scary Faces had, they're like, okay, guys, there's hope. You know what I mean? We can win. We're like, we're, wait, 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 Something in this fight, yeah, in the next 20, 20 seconds, in the next 20 seconds, something's going so wrong that they end the game. Well, you, I can guarantee you that this is the problem. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. Let's, let's play. When you get run okay. through the tier 4 towers... By a support. By a support. At 13 minutes at into, the <laughs> minutes into <laughs> the game, you can be completely sure that you have lost. Yeah, let's, let's play it now, Scriff, and see the, the carnage. No, they actually nearly... Oh, they do kill Bristleback in a moment, but... Oh, all right, so he runs into the base. Tier 4 Terrace hitting him, doesn't really care. He, he dies in the end, but look at this, right? They use everything on Bulba, on the on the Bristleback. Like Roar, Disruptor ulti, Slark pounces in, then Black comes in, Requiem's a mechs, and all of a sudden, look how much damage that did. Yeah. And then wait, wait, oh, pause, pause. Sonic Wave up to Rewind a little bit. Oh, look, look at the range on that spell. Like Look, look at the positioning also, yeah. like Press really. Play. Well played. Oh my god. And also, this is not the moment when you're running into an SF a friendly word of advice yeah, there for me. Yeah, Slurk, yeah. But it, this is really hard to make a serious analysis because they lost the game so hard. Yeah. I mean, you can do some pointers, like losing the chicken was a big deal and stuff like that, but what really happened was that they put 
three it was a lanes. Draft. Yeah, yeah and, and I don't think any team would have won with those three lanes. Honestly, I mean Espe those lanes were horrible. Especially with the kind of players Team Tinker have, you can't give them that much of an advantage in a lane because they nope. they will take advantage of it. So what what do you do next? I mean, you're obviously you're up against a team that is better than you. you can say that. So mm -hmm. on paper, it's I mean, it's it's not. Well, if well, how do you play against a team? Play a strategy you? that is better than them. Theirs for starters. I mean, it felt like they they picked normal heroes. Maybe, maybe they should shake around a little bit and try something new because, obviously, I don't even know how they thought. I, I would have wanted to pick their brains and, and they could tell me. We thought their lanes would be like this. Yeah. Yeah. And maybe. The aggressive try was the, the masterpiece from Team Tinker that they actually went three to the top and then all of a sudden Beastmaster had to go one on one with Quop and Quop free farms and still dominates him yeah. as if he was going versus three. So maybe that was the maybe Team Tinker did a smart thing there and we should uh, applaud them more. But this game honestly it was it was horrible and it's 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 a qualifying part, so that can happen. I really, I, I really hope they come back. I really hope for a one-one here. Yeah, I think so. I, if they pick stronger laners and allow their supports to roam better, like yeah. to try and gank black, to try and gank Quagfa, because their their supports were pinned down top, they couldn't yeah. even help the other lane. Exactly. So like being able, allowing your supports to roam more and give them more freedom, I think is the way forward. Well, we're going to find out if that is indeed what they're going to do because we are already in the draft of game two of this quarterfinals for the qualifier number three. It is Scary Faces taking on Team Tinker.